All right, are you ready for a holiday from planet Earth? NASA today releasing incredible photos, the first handful from the James Webb Space Telescope, and holy hot dogs. Take a look at these. NASA says it is a young star-forming region in the Carina Nebula, and this, a pair of photos of the Southern Ring Nebula. Look at that. So naughty. It's a cloud of gas around a dying star. And this stuff is just a taste of what's to come. Joining me now in studio, astronomer and director of the Griffith Observatory right here in Los Angeles, Dr. E.C. Krupp. Welcome to the show. This is so exciting, Dr. Krupp. Thanks. Just a pleasure. Oh, I mean, I have been reading about this project for years and years. It was almost canceled in 2011. Congress, uh, they didn't quite pass the bill, but there were a lot of people who said this is way too much money. But now that it's out there and its sun shield has uh, unfolded and we've got the 18 hexagonal mirrors, what are we seeing? Well, we're seeing pieces of the cosmos just transforming itself over time. Instead of thinking of the universe as a place that contains a bunch of stuff, you're seeing what it really is, a process. And we're seeing this process all over the place from the beginning to the end. It's quite incredible. Are there some things about the age of the universe that we are hoping to reconcile with this space telescope? No question. Because it works in infrared light, which our eyes don't see, but is the light that we get from the farthest objects that we can detect, we're looking back to the very origin of galaxies, the very beginning, right after the Big Bang. And in fact, this one picture, deep field picture, they've already picked up a galaxy that's 13.1 billion years ago. So what does that do to the known age of the universe? Well, we know that the universe is about 13.8. Mm -hmm. So you're just practically at the point where the curtain of the, the Big Bang lifts and galaxies start forming. We don't know how that happens. We don't know how everything gets distributed. Only by looking at these places and looking in detail, mm -hmm. things we probably take for granted. You look at it, it's a pretty picture. But those pictures have details that show how things work. Is it more impressive now than we thought it was going to be when it was launched in December? No question. It, I, I was impressed that it just got out there and opened up and worked at all, let alone it's working like this. In a way, it's a little familiar. It's, it's sort of like the Hubble Space Telescope pictures. They're gorgeous, and yet most people don't realize the incredible detail, the in, additional detail that these are showing. They look superficially like pictures you've seen before, but when you look at the details, you realize you're seeing something never seen before. Yeah, and, you, and when you think about uh, the composition and the difficulty, so Tell me about the Lagrange point, because this is yeah. this is a, a special spot in space uh, where, you know, it, it's like Goldilocks, where it has to be just right in order for the telescope to function optimally. You need this telescope to be stable, and it can't be close to the Earth. The Earth gives off a lot of infrared light and just plain old other light, which would contaminate what the telescope's got to do. It's sort of like, how do you get to the backside of the moon where you don't have interference with things? Well, you don't have to go to the backside of the moon. You go to these points, one of them, where the gravitational force is balanced between the sun and the earth and the moon. That means this thing can just sit there. The only trouble with it is when you put it out there, you can't get to it. It's, it's too far away to fix, so it's got to be right the first time. Yes, but unlike the, the Hubble telescope, where spacewalkers have been able to go and, and fix it several times and, and make adjustments and, and polish things up, uh, are you going to get a new tie with some of the images from the Webb telescope? This one's already close, but the, the, my hope is always to get new ties, and yeah. certainly the Webb is going to provide a lot of opportunities. Well, I can't wait. I hope you come back and tell me more about it, because this is fascinating. It is so exciting. I'll be there. And these are the ultimate pursuits that we should be making as a society.